The Cobra Kai cast's off-screen stories are as captivating as their on-screen karate battles. At 62, Ralph Macchio, once the iconic face of the Karate Kid franchise, remains ageless, surprising fans with his martial arts prowess. Born on November 4, 1961, Macchio's journey in showbiz began in the late 70s, gradually rising from TV commercials to starring in The Karate Kid, a role that transformed his life. Beyond his on-screen achievements, Macchio's life boasts remarkable facets. He saved a baby porpoise, preferring anonymity when reporters sought his story. His roots trace back to Naples, with a diverse heritage of Greek and Italian ancestry. The actor showcased his multifaceted talents by penning a memoir, waxing on the Karate Kid and me, detailing his experiences with the iconic film series. Notably, Macchio's dedication extends to naming his son Daniel after his character. While Daniel LaRusso showcased impressive martial arts skills on screen, Macchio's commitment to realism involved extensive training. Despite not entering the formal belt system, his preparation for the films was thorough. Off screen, Macchio's martial arts journey intertwines with a lasting marriage to Phyllis Fierro since 1986, and his daughter, Julia Macchio, made a cameo appearance in Cobra Kai's fourth season as Vanessa. The Cobra Kai cast's real-life narratives add depth to the characters viewers have come to love. Unlike William Zabka, who continued honing his skills long after the initial film, turning in his 50s dedicated himself to reclaiming the role of Johnny Lawrence in Cobra Kai. Despite a hiatus from the character, Zabka immersed himself in rigorous training, blending karate, taekwondo, strength conditioning, and cardio into his demanding 12- to 14-hour workdays. Complemented by a diet rich in lean protein and vegetables, his commitment to fitness allowed a seamless return to the character's physical demands. Zabka's journey into martial arts began in the first Karate Kid movie, where his wrestling background served as a foundation for his portrayal of Johnny Lawrence. Progressing beyond mere improvisation, he earned a black belt in Tang Soo Do. Fluent in Czech, Zabka's surname, translating to Little Frog in Czech, reflects his Czech ancestry from his father's side. Having entered the spotlight early, Zabka's debut at five set the stage for a career deeply rooted in Hollywood. Born to Stanley William Zabka, known for Chuck Norris's film Forced Vengeance, and Nancy Heimert, a business liaison, he shares the entertainment industry with successful siblings Guy and Judy, who are accomplished musicians. Continuing the family's legacy, the 57-year-old American actor has been a pivotal part of Cobra Kai since 2018, contributing to all 51 featured episodes. His personal life includes a 2008 marriage to Stacy Zabka, with whom he shares three children. Fluent in Czech and boasting a net worth of $3 million, William Zabka remains an enduring presence in both martial arts and Hollywood. Zolo Mary Duena, born in June 2001, initiated his acting career at the young age of 10, venturing from TV commercials to becoming a series regular on Parenthood in 2012. Hailing from Mexican, Cuban, and Ecuadorian heritage, his family adheres to the IFA tradition. Maraduena's name, Yolo, translates to Sirius in Nahuatl, signifying the brightest star in the night sky. While he dabbled in karate basics during first grade, it wasn't until Cobra Kai that he resumed martial arts training, immersing himself for the role of Miguel Diaz. Beyond Cobra Kai, Maraduena is set to make waves as DC's first ever Latin superhero in the franchise film Blue Beetle, portraying Jamie Reyes. Despite growing up in L.A. with parents in showbiz, he maintains humility, avoiding the pitfalls of celebrity ego inflation. Surprising fans, Maraduena's off-screen camaraderie with co-star Jacob Bertrand is heartwarming, evolving into a genuine brotherhood. The duo's bond extends beyond the on-screen complexities of their characters. Having appeared in all seasons and episodes of Cobra Kai, Zolo Maraduena, now 22, remains a consistent presence on the show. His personal life, marked by a reported relationship with Hannah Keppel in 2019 and subsequent connections with Blue Beetle co-star Bruno Marquezine, captivates fans who anticipate more from this evolving love story. Mary Mouser's transformation in Cobra Kai turned her into a karate action hero, pushing her to intense training sessions. Despite the character's initial lack of karate involvement, by Season 4, she stepped up to compete in the All-Valley Tournament, working out six days a week. To reward her efforts, the Cobra Kai team indulged her with Krispy Kreme donuts, 
making her grueling sessions a bit sweeter. During the intense fight sequences, Peyton List accidentally broke Mary's thumb in a season four scene. The American-born Mary Mauser, currently 27 years old and born on May 9, 1996, has been a consistent presence in all episodes of Cobra Kai since 2018. Beyond her on-screen feats, Mauser faced a personal challenge when diagnosed with type 1 diabetes just a month after turning 13. In an interview with an insider, she affirmed her resilient spirit, embracing the condition as a part of her life. Her off-screen life intertwines with a relationship with her longtime boyfriend, 31-year-old actor Brett Pierce. The duo has been together since 2015, sharing a journey marked by mutual support and companionship. Mary Mouser's openness about her experiences with diabetes and her ability to navigate life's challenges make her not only a talented actress, but also an inspiring individual, contributing to the diverse narratives within the Cobra Kai cast. In addition to her on-screen endeavors, Mary Mouser finds solace in quiet moments, often immersing herself in the pages of a good book. Her strong camaraderie within the Cobra Kai cast extends to a close friendship with Jacob Bertrand. Born on March 6, 2000, Jacob is not just an actor, but also a director, renowned for his work in films like Ready Player One and Rise of the Guardians. Although initially unaware of the Karate Kid, Jacob's childhood affection for the franchise and prior karate experience from ages 8 to 12 positioned him as a natural fit for Cobra Kai. His journey, transitioning from a young Oscar Mayer commercial actor to a passionate karate enthusiast on the show, enriches the varied narratives within the Cobra Kai cast, illustrating their unwavering dedication to the iconic series. Jacob Bertrand has been a significant contributor to 50 episodes since 2018, currently age 23. Born on March 6, 2002, in America, Jacob's personal life intertwines with a sweet love story with Peyton. Their connection traces back to their teenage years, originating from a familial friendship that evolved into a romantic relationship. While their social media once overflowed with delightful shared moments, post-September 2022, both have refrained from publicly sharing about each other. Hailing from Ohio, the multi-talented Tanner Buchanan, now 24 years old in 2023, has left an indelible mark with his roles in Cobra Kai and Designated Survivor. Beyond acting, his versatility shines through his skills as a dancer and guitarist. Tanner's heart finds its home with the 25-year-old actress Lizzie Broadway, the star of the Amazon Prime Gen V show. Their relationship, which commenced during their teenage years, endured a brief separation in mid-2015, a decision Tanner acknowledged as his own fault. Before joining Cobra Kai, Tanner's dedication to martial arts included practicing Muay Thai and holding experience in Taekwondo, adding layers to his character both on and off the screen. Concluding the Cobra Kai ensemble, we delve into the life of Martin Cove, portraying the formidable John Kreese. At 77 years old and hailing from New York, Martin, born on March 6, 1946, not only brings his acting prowess to the screen, but also boasts excellence in martial arts, holding a black belt in karate. His real-life journey includes a marriage to actress Vivienne Cove from 1981 to 2005, and together they have twin children, 32-year-old Jesse Cove and Rachel Olivia Cove. As Cobra Kai gears up for its sixth and final season in 2024, the captivating narratives of its cast members, both on and off screen, continue to resonate with fans. Now, the spotlight turns to you. Who is your favorite in Cobra Kai Season 5? Feel free to share your thoughts and leave us a comment as we eagerly anticipate the grand finale of this iconic series.